dear friend. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you a hug if not. Actually, I'm sending you a hug either way. Because you deserve it. Feel free to not accept it. I know some people don't like hugs and that's perfectly okay. But in that case, I'm sending you a cookie. Something comforting. I'm sorry if my voice cracks in this voiceover. It's currently the morning. Uh, you are the first person I'm talking to. Yay! <laughs> and I have a mug of hot steamy tea with me, which I will be sipping as I talk to you. This week I definitely need a cookie. Something that will give me energy because I'm exhausted. The week was full of surprises and I'm super thankful and excited about all of them, like I think literally all, but it was also overwhelming and I just feel like I need a break from something, I don't even know what. And yeah, that's why I'm recording these in the morning, because yesterday I just had to take a break from everything. <laughs> Sometimes that happens to me. But yes, we are here to first of all talk about last week. It was, as I said, unexpected. And I ended up filming two videos on Impulse instead of the ones that I had planned to film. And that's why you see me using correction tape on my to-do list. I'm honestly happy that I chose to film those two videos. One of them was the Halloween vlog, which is already posted, and the other one is yet to be posted because it's just taking so long <laughs> to edit. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I chose to film those two because they were very in the spur of the moment, and so I feel like they reflect what I was doing better than some other videos that I might have planned. But one of the videos that got... I'm not sure if if I should say delayed or cancelled, because right now I don't have much time to film that video either, and to start that challenge, so the one I'm talking about is the Artist's Way video. I just haven't started yet, and the book is already here, I read the introduction, I was ready to start, but then I just couldn't find the time to film, and also I knew if I filmed a weekly vlog, then I wouldn't have time to edit it, so like, you know, what's the point? I don't want to keep adding videos that I need to edit so that then I can't film more videos. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that series. But these two videos that I filmed on Impulse, I feel like were a symptom of how unexpected the whole week was. For example, my sleep schedule was all over the place. Some days I was sleeping nine hours, some days I was sleeping five, and I was just feeling very tired overall. And I really like to prioritize sleep, you know, in my day to day life because I'm someone who needs a lot of sleep. I need those nine hours if I want to, you know function at my best the next day, but I just always give myself so much to do and then a lot of times there are things that come up on top of that, that sometimes if I want to get everything done and to be quote-unquote disciplined, yeah, I just end up going to bed late and then next morning I have to wake up early, so... Yeah, it hasn't been ideal, but the good thing is that I've been really enjoying focusing more on this channel. I know I shouldn't 
prioritize the channel over sleep but sometimes i just you know want to have that moment to work on something that i'm growing by myself and that's my channel for me aside from my writing but my writing is something else <laughs> So yeah, you might have noticed that I've been posting more frequently, not more regularly because my posting schedule is still not regular, but it's definitely more frequent and I'm really happy about that. I hope you are happy about that too. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I have so many ideas for the videos that are to come and some of them I'll be able to turn into realities and some of them I won't be able to for example the ones related to NaNoWriMo I just I can already predict it's gonna be really hard for me to for example post weekly vlogs but I want to you know still record my journey and still share it with you if if it's not a weekly vlog maybe it's a bi-weekly vlog and I just want to share with you how my writing is going, so let me know which videos you'd like to see from me, not just from NaNoWriMo, but like in general. If there's anything you would like me to touch upon, then let me know. I also really really want to start filming reading vlogs, but I just feel like <laughs> I feel like I never know how to do it because you know, I want to make it look good and I just take so long to read a single book that I feel like each vlog would take me so so long to film and then it, will, it would be kind of messy to edit but I really want to try because I would like to record my thoughts on books and I would also like to share that with you guys I love watching reading vlogs and listening to people talk about their reading experience and you know i do have things to say as i read books like i don't really have anyone to talk about books with um yeah none of my friends are very bookish not as much as me either either way um but you are for sure because most of you are writers and introverts and people who like words so yeah i think it would be fun to talk about books with you even if i'm a slow reader so what else did i do this week this week i chose my NaNoWriMo project yes that was really exciting and i was so excited about it that I chose my NaNoWriMo project twice. By the time this video comes out, I think I will have at least two NaNoWriMo vlogs out where I share which books or which book I chose to write for National Novel Writing Month. And so if you're interested, you can go watch that. But if not, then just Keep listening to me, I hope you're enjoying, or yeah. But I can tell you right now that in the end, the project that I chose to write is a spooky Halloween story, which I'm really excited about. This project is one that I haven't planned at all, and so I'll just be writing whatever comes to mind in the moment and i think this is gonna be good because i also want to start investing more in project snow which is my main work in progress so i'm a writer by the way like if you're new here that's the main thing about me on this channel but of course i already told you i also want to share more about reading and journaling and other creative life stuff but yes i'm a writer my main work in progress is called like it's not really called project snow but that's the working title and it's a speculative mystery novel which i really really love 
but which is kind of driving me crazy. It's been, <laughs> it's been driving me crazy all year, but recently I started writing it longhand and so I guess I'll talk about the next topic, which is that this week I was actually blessed with a spot in a writing course, which I'm I'm so grateful for and this was truly the biggest surprise of this week. The course is called How to Write a Novel. It's by Ritzy Learning. This is not sponsored by the way, but I will be talking more about the course in the future because it's gonna be part of my writing progress and I actually decided to try and write Project Snow in this course. So it's a three month course and you're supposed to write the first draft of a novel throughout the course, so throughout the three months. And I'm gonna try to do that for Project Snow, so you can see what I'm doing already. For NaNoWriMo I'm gonna be writing Project Spooky, which is the Halloween story, and then I also have another project that I'll be working on and <laughs> I feel like I'm getting myself into too much again, but hopefully not because Project Snow is and has always been my main priority in terms of writing, so yeah, I really want to take this opportunity to focus more on, on it and hopefully finish the first draft, which is the one thing I've been struggling to do all year. So yeah, really excited about that. I already started the course's pre-sessions, so even though the course starts on October 30th, I'm going to be watching, I think, I think it's five pre-sessions, which I need to watch and do my homework on before we start the course so that I'm fully prepared. And I've already started and I'm really enjoying them. Like the first session, oh, did, like it was crazy. There was so much <laughs> to do. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm too indecisive or if it's because I overthink things, but like on each exercise that the instructor gave me to do, I just spent like a whole day, seriously, a whole writing day on it and I couldn't even come up with, <laughs> with a satisfying answer. I don't know. I don't know if I overthink each step or... Yeah. But I'm really enjoying it. I can see how this will prepare me for October 30th. So yeah, I'll be sharing how it's going with you. So yeah, until then I'll just keep handwriting and doing the exercises. And actually this week I was only able to write from Monday to Sunday which is, I mean, it's not my goal. As you know, my goal is to be consistent, so to write at least five days a week. But actually, in these three days, I got more words than last week, in which I wrote for five consecutive days. So, last week I gave myself a star for being consistent, and this week I got more words out. But according to my criteria, I shouldn't deserve a star. So I don't know, maybe I should change the criteria for carrying a star at the end of the week. But yeah, this week I didn't give myself one. Let me know if you think I should. <laughs> I think just sitting down to write is already a great start. <laughs> But yes, I think that's all I have to say about writing this week. Oh, so last week I was expecting my 
Hobonichi 2024 order to arrive this week and it did and I did film um, an unboxing video which I'm not sure when I'll be posting because I <laughs> I don't want to keep talking about this but yeah I need to edit it and I don't know when I'll have time for that but uh, I'm really excited I love 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 all of the products that I got they're not that many because uh, um, I don't I just buy what I need and I know exactly what I need and what I'll be using them for so yeah hopefully I'll, I'll be sharing that with you soon but actually uh, getting my Hobonichi planners made me really really excited about 2024 I know like right now the thing to be excited about is NaNoWriMo because it's gonna be a big challenge which I need to be prepared for and yeah which is going to be my main focus until the end of November but yeah it just got me thinking about next year because when I ordered the products I had to think about next year and I chose each product according to what I want to do next year and how I want the year to feel like and once they arrived I just had that urge to plan for 2024 all over again and to you know come up with my goals get excited about it start preparing myself for it but the truth is that because NaNoWriMo is such a big challenge I feel like it just takes my whole head in November and it's not until December that I can start focusing on next year which is probably good because you know uh, December is still a whole month and you should enjoy the rest of the year and oh no there's noise I hope you can't hear the noise outside oh no I hope you can't hear it. Okay, I'll I'll try to do some editing to the sound so you can't hear it. But yeah, what was I saying? Sometimes I kind of regret that NaNoWriMo is in November because you know, at that point I'm just so excited for next year and I just want to make plans for next year and to get myself ready and pumped and stuff. And because of NaNoWriMo, I can't, but at the same time, I think it's good that I can't because, you know, I still want to make the most out of these last two months of the year and I want to be productive and I don't want to wait until next year to start being productive, you know? So, yeah, on the one hand, it's not so great. On the other hand, it's just ideal. <laughs> and yeah i choose to just be thankful <laughs> actually november is often a month which i'm just like in work mode and it's hard for me to stop and i've already been feeling that this week but i did have a few breaks from work so i had an incredible day on Monday it was a celebration day and then on Wednesday I went on a kind of date with my grandma and then on Saturday my sister came to visit and it was so nice to every time I'm with people because I'm an introvert my energy is just sucked dry like the day after or the next day sometimes it's more than one day i'm just exhausted and that did happen this week but i was just so grateful that these people came into my life and that these people are in my life to take me away from work a little bit and to just spend time with me and chat and have fun and yeah i think it's so wonderful to have family who loves you and I'm just very grateful actually this problem of having my 
energy is sucked every time I'm with people is something that I often think about when I imagine my future so you know like I don't want to have my expectations too high but I do sometimes imagine myself in the future you know once my books are published if I go on a book tour for example like Victoria Schwab right now she's on tour and I think it's been like six weeks and she's been recording the whole process and it's just crazy because she's an introvert too and she also talks about how you know she gets really exhausted from interacting with people which doesn't have anything to do with her love for it of course like i love being with people and i love being with my family but you know it just has an impact on my body and for her that seems to be the case as well so i'm just like in awe at her being able to go on tour and survive (laughs) basically and also keep writing on top of it like am i ever gonna be able to do that and i mean don't get me wrong i (laughs) i'm not saying that i will be as successful and popular as victoria schwab or v schwab i think right now she prefers to go by v schwab I'm not saying I'm going to be as successful as her, but I definitely want to, you know? I want my books to reach a wide audience and yeah, I want them to find the readers that love them and if I am successful, then that's a sign that my books found the right place to be. They found homes and people love them and of course i want that you know but i digress right now (laughs) that's not what i have to be worried about it's just something i think about from time to time um yeah right now my life is exciting in different ways i'll say that i'm still reading the graveyard book so I've been reading it for I don't know how long now but yeah I'm a slow reader so (laughs) this happens and sometimes I don't know I just get off track so writing consistently and reading consistently is something I definitely want to develop into my life and yeah just You know, if you're a writer, you need to read, I know that. Like, last week it was just too much and I definitely feel like I need to reorganize myself to get back on track and to feel some semblance of regularity in my days, some semblance of routine, because also my routine was kind of pretty much messed up last week. But, yeah. I notice that every week that I don't read, I just get so overwhelmed, which is, you know, how I'm feeling right now. Because I just feel like I get too much inside my head. I am too worried about the things that I'm doing and the things that I'm not doing and the things that I need to do. And, you know, Not reading means not taking a break, not allowing myself to leave my head and that's just bad, you know, like I'm a chronic overthinker, seriously. And I need to remind myself not to do that, like I love reading so much, like I should allow myself to do it more often, you know, even if some things don't get done because of that like reading is important it's important for my biggest dream which is writing (laughs) there are so many books that i want to read right now i just want to get to all of them and i feel like i'm not getting through any of them so next week that's definitely something to change less work more reading and writing (laughs) 
so yeah i know i've been talking a lot about this week and not enough about next week because you know i don't want to make that many plans to be honest oh no the noise again oh my god it's so loud i feel like it's closer okay i'll just try to wrap this up quickly but oh no yeah i just want to keep next week chill you know lots of fiction lots of comfort and i don't want to plan too many things that then i won't be able to accomplish so i have this week's videos to edit and they are a lot and that's pretty much it okay i think i'm gonna have to come back here for the second part later because the noise is too much so i'll see you in a second hi friends so it's sarah from later i'm actually going to wrap up this video here because i feel like i was just rambling a lot and yeah this video is already quite long so i hope you enjoyed it even though i was clearly tired and sometimes my thoughts didn't come out the way i wish they had and also i hope the sound wasn't too bad i tried to fix the noise in the background and i think it kind of messed up with the sound of my voice uh, but i hope it's okay and i'll do better next time so as always i'm going to end this entry with an affirmation so close your eyes and listen time is on your side <laughs>